is Ross Monster Vans, and today I'm going to show you around this ProMaster 159 that we just wrapped up. Exterior highlights of this rig include upgraded tires and suspension in the front and the rear. We have black Rhino wheels also. We have our Fiamma awning up top here on the passenger side. Working our way to the front, we have a Linex front grill. And then on the driver's side of this vehicle, we have a Yakima boat rack for a canoe. Let's take a look inside. All right, welcome inside. So some design features of this rig include slab door walnut cabinetry throughout. We have paper stone countertops here in the galley, and this is gonna be the graphite color. Really cool thing about paper stone is that it's made from recycled paper. So it's sustainable, but also you can put hot stuff directly on it and it's not going to hurt the material at all or leave a mark. So one of my favorite things to put in a vehicle. Up front here, we have our captain's chair. These are both on swivels so that you can have two people sitting there and then a ton of people sitting in this rear dinette. Lastly, up top, we have a really unique feature. They've done the ceiling upholstered in Pendleton. So just a really nice design feature for this van. So I'm gonna start at the front and we'll work our way back through all of the different sections of this rig. So up front here, we have two um, additional captain's chairs. These are gonna have three point retractable seat belts, super comfortable for additional riders. Another great thing about these seats is that they swivel. So we can have a little bit of extra room in the rear here. There we go. So just makes our dinette and living space a little bit bigger. Moving into the galley, again, we have these paper stone countertops, and then we also have a flip up butcher block countertop extension. This is again in walnut to tie in with the rest of the cabinetry in this vehicle. We have our 15 by 20 Rivati workstation sink here as per usual, nice insert in there. Underneath the sink, we have a three gallon gray water tank. And then just a nice amount of storage here in the kitchen. So we have a drawer, silverware drawer, and then we have all of our uppers. As per usual, these are all going to be on gas struts for easy and soft opening and closing and have our V-latches to ensure that it stays closed while you're going over bumpy roads, getting to your campsite, whatever it may be. Another little attention to detail piece that I love about this van is these coat racks. I always find that I get in the van and I want somewhere to hang up my wet coat or sweaty gear so that it can dry while we're driving. And I think that these are a great solution. Coming back a little bit further, we have our dinette unit. So one really nice thing about these beds that flip out to create the bed area is that you have a massive dinette. So you could seat six people here easily. So nice little area here. Again, custom Ross Monster Walnut table on a lagoon mount. So I will go ahead and take this down and put the bed into bed mode. And there we have our roughly queen size bed. You're gonna sleep lengthwise in this van. Uh, all of this is upholstered with our Duramax gray. So it's gonna be very durable, stand up to, you know, sitting on it, throwing a little bit of gear on top of it and shouldn't show steam. Another really nice feature about this dinette unit is that we have some really good storage underneath. So in this side, we have our power cabinet. So we have 340 amp hours of AGM supercycle battery. We have a 3000 watt inverter, and then we have 100 watts of solar up top that's gonna to be coming through here. Additionally, in this van, because we have such a nice roomy dinette, we could put a partition here and add a little bit of storage. So a little storage cubby, that's gonna be on both sides. So we'll go over to the driver's side next and check out our water cabinet. In here, we have our 20 gallon freshwater tank, and we also have the storage for the Dometic portable toilet in here. And then when it comes to ventilation in this van, we have our Sierra Lawrence T-Vent windows on this side. These are really nice awning style windows, so you can have them open when it's raining or anything like that. And then we have some great rear windows. 
as well as a max air fan. So these are awesome because they can either suck air out of the vehicle or pull air in, depending on what you're doing in here. So lastly, we'll talk about electric in this van. So we have multiple lighting zones. We have our dimmable LED dome overhead lights. We have our upper cab and lower cab lights. Um, and then as per usual, we have our switch panel here by the driver's door. Uh, so we have our inverter just to light up the panel. We have our fridge. I forgot to mention before, but we have our isotherm 4.6 cubic foot fridge here in the galley. And then we have our Victron Bluetooth energy monitor so he can make sure that he's staying up to date on how full his batteries are, make sure that they're getting enough charge. And then lastly, we have the Wabasso heater in this van, so that's going to make it four seasons. It's a great heater to go skiing or whatever you might do in this van. That wraps up this van tour. Thanks so much for joining in. Again, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster Vans. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a van tour. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh,